in this class we are going to discuss about the Java collections class so in the Java collections class it belongs to the package Java util and it only has static or class methods that operate on or return collections as the output of the method it has some algorithmic methods that operate on collections like sort reverse and so on and it also has some wrapper methods which return a new collection with some additional functionality so this is called as uh, a decorator design pattern where you add additional functionality to an existing class so some of the exceptions thrown by these methods are it will throw a null pointer exception if you pass a null object as a parameter and methods that modify this collection also throw what is called as an unsupported operation exception if the collection does not support the related modification so in the add all method for example it will throw an exception if the elements that are being added do not support the add operation so let's look at the wrapper methods so there are wrapper methods to create an immutable collection from a mutable collection so if you pass a set to the unmodifiable set method it will return you a set which cannot be modified that means you cannot add or delete entries from that set but the individual elements of the set can still be modified if you have a collection which is not thread safe you can create a thread safe collection by using the synchronized methods so if you have a set which is uh, not thread safe you can call the method called synchronized set and that will return you a set which is synchronized that means it is thread safe so let's categorize some of these methods in the collection class so there are some methods which modify the collection like add all add all can add one or more elements to an existing collection fill can uh, can uh, update an existing object in a collection replace all will replace all the instances reverse will reverse the collection rotate can move the collection by a certain distance shuffle will randomly shuffle the collection sort will sort the collection swap can swap two elements in a collection so all these methods basically modify the existing collection and there are some methods which are read only methods so you have like empty methods like empty list empty set which will return you an empty list or an empty set or there is there is a method called frequency which will give you the frequency of a certain element in the collection max and min will give you the maximum and minimum within a collection binary search will let you search using the binary search these are all read only methods so let's look at an example program a demo program which shows some of these methods so here i'm using the wrapper collections so I have a map which is an which is an unsynchronized map to make it a synchronized map i call collections dot synchronized map now this my synchronized map is a thread safe map so that's an example of the synchro of the synchronized methods let's try to make a mutable collection immutable so here i have a list called my list i'm adding some elements to this list and then i'm making this list unmodifiable if you make it unmodifiable and if i try to add an element to this list so let's run this and i'm adding a, an element here called gauri and if i try to run this method it will say unsupported operation exception because it's an it's now an immutable list so this error was at line number 31 line number 31 is where you are trying to add to the immutable list so i'm going to comment this back but i can modify an individual element in the list 
though it's an unmodifiable list. An unmodifiable list basically means that you cannot add or remove from the list or update the list. You can only, uh, but you can modify the individual elements inside that list. Okay, and here is an example of a method called. It has a set of methods called which start with the word checked. So here I'm creating a collection which is an array list. I'm adding a few strings, and then I'm adding an object of class A. So this collection, my source collection, can ob can contain objects of different types. But now I want to say that this guy, this uh, source collection, I want to make it contain only objects of the string class. Okay. Once I create an object of the string class, and if I try to add an object which is not of the string class, like class B then it will fail. So let's run this now. So now you see that first it create a, created a dynamically type safe view which contains Java, ease, ease and for A it uses the the two string implementation of that class and it stores it inside the source collection but when i try when after i make it a dynamically type safe view which contain only string classes i cannot insert an element of class b into this new collection and that's why it failed here so once i make this as a checked collection of string class it can only contain elements of the string class i cannot con make it contain elements of the class b so let me comment this guy out Then there are some read-only methods. Let's so in this collection I have Java ease and is and ease is repeating. So the frequency of ease is now two. So that will use the dot equals method to see how frequently that string occurs. And there is a method called empty list, and I can retrieve an empty list and I can check the size of the list to be zero. And let's look at an example of a uh, methods which modify the collection. So here I have created a list and then I invoke the reverse method and after reversing the list I print the list. Okay and here I have a method called sort which will sort the list in the natural order. Natural order is the dictionary order and then I print the list after that. So let's run this program. So if you see here, the frequency of the string is is 2, size of an empty list is 0. Before reversing the list, I have hello, how are you? And after reversing the list, I have you are how hello. And then after sorting this you are how hello, I will get hello as a first because uppercase letters appear first. Then the string starting with A, then H, then Y, which is the natural ordering of the, those elements. So this example shows you all the different categories of methods in the collection class. So you can try out some of the other methods by test by making changes to this program.